This morning it's going to be the display. Open the screen. Go to settings. Go down about half the page to display. First is the brightness. I've got mine set at about uh, three-fourths of the way. Uh, you might want to make it brighter or less. More brighter you make it, the more battery it's going to use. So I'll put mine about, but it's not a big time. It's not going to kill your phone if you run it for, you know, 30 minutes or something. So it's not a big deal. Mine's about three-fourths of the way. Set it however you like. Now let's go on wallpaper. Uh, you have several different settings in here. I'll start from the top. Uh, gallery. Now that's pictures that you've taken with the phone and they're stored in the phone. They're, the place they're stored is called the gall uh, gallery. You'll see that little square on your screen somewhere. So if you like, you want to take a picture of you and your best friend and you, the, the camera saves it to the gallery, you can use a picture from the gallery to make your face, to make your wallpaper. That's what you want to do. Now, live wallpaper. That's wallpaper that moves around a little bit. It's like, it's, let's see if I can get one. Let's see. Here, okay. See how the bubbles are moving? Okay, well, that's all of them on that in live wallpaper they move in some way or another now live wallpaper will use a little more of your battery compared to wallpaper that just got a still image on it okay so I, I personally I prefer the ones with the still image it's just a little bit more battery saver not much but a little bit uh, photos now, these are photos that you have uploaded to the web in some form or fashion. It Every time I upload a picture to my blogs, even if I'm using the computer to do it, which I almost always do, it shows on here. So I could pick one of them if I wanted to. Okay? But I don't care to do that. I'm a Mr. Incognito. <laughs> Okay, here's the ones that I use. You don't have a big selection. You go down to the bottom and you start moving them. And they'll come up. And if you see one you like, you just hit set wallpaper right there at the bottom. Okay. Uh, let's go back. Now, uh, auto rotate. You want to check that. And that just means that you turn the screen and it goes like that. No biggie. Sleep timer. This is how long your screen will stay on if there if you don't put your hand on it and move it around some, you know, move this change this thing on the screen. I got mine to go off in one minute. You may want two minutes or thirty seconds, you know, whatever. You don't want it like at five minutes or ten minutes because you don't want the screen that on long on that long when you're not doing anything. You know, the screen sucks up battery power. Okay. Uh daydream. Now, this is when you put your phone in a dock. I used to have a dock for one of my older phones, but it was a little bitty one, about the size of your hand, and you just set it down like this. It, it charges up, your, keeps your phone charged all the time. Now, most of the docks they make now are pretty good size, or big, and they got like speakers built into them and all that. Uh, I, I don't want that sitting on my desk. I don't have enough room for something like that, so I don't use it. But if you had a dock, you would do that, and you could make the clock show up every time you stuck it in the dock, make it do colors every time you stuck it in your dock, make it do a slideshow of your pictures. You know, you can do whatever you want to when the thing's sitting in the dock on your desk. I, I don't want to do that, but you might want to do that sometime. Uh, font, font font size, you can set it. I've got mine large. My peepers ain't as good as they used to be, so I, I, I don't have to have the huge yet, but I got the large. Uh, pulse light, yes, you want that checked. That's what puts the flashing light in the notification bar when you get a text or an email or something like that, so you want that checked. 
cache screen? No, you don't have a t television that you can send stuff from the phone to the television, but you gotta have a little piece of equipment that goes behind the TV and you, you don't have that. I don't either. I, I can get it, but I don't have it. Okay, that's it. Now I wanna show you also on the screen how to move apps around. Now, if you for some reason have an app on here and you don't like it, you wanna get rid of it, okay? Put your finger on it, hold your finger down. You'll feel it kinda of pulse and you move it up to the top where it says remove, okay? Now it's not gone forever. All you do is bring up the, the big screen. It's always gone back somewhere, either over here or over here and you can move it back. Here's the one we just moved. Hold your finger on it again and press down hard. You'll feel it vibrate. You can move it back to the screen. There it is back on the main screen. If you want to move it around, if you notice on the top, I've got mine, the main ones I use all the time on the top. For some reason, that's just the way I am. I got the phone, uh, text, email, and calendar. Maps is next and contacts. Uh, if you want to move one around, there again. Hold your finger on it and press down. Move it up here. See, we moved it from here to here. It's real easy to do. Move it back and it'll stick. You can also move the stuff down here if you want to. I, I don't, I kind of keep this about the same. Most of these are up in here somewhere. Now I do have the Google Now emblem down here. So once I open my phone, if I want to go to Google Now, I can't scroll up like we used, like I showed you before. So I got the blue square with the G in it. I can hit it and it goes to Google Now. See? Okay. That's uh, all I want to show you about the screen. Okay? Have a good day. Bye.